All right, guys, we're going to move on to section eight. If we could do in the next 45 minutes, um, if you could understand how to do voltage drop calculation, we are actually an hour ahead of our schedule, which is a good thing. Ready? All right, I want each one of you to go to table D3.
you see it clearly, guys? Okay. Write it down where? Over 120. Yeah. Over 120. So this whole thing is one equation. So you can say that all of these numbers are. Actually, I would put it right underneath V. V over 120. Times. Okay. Okay. So let's just put a little bit of space. So you guys don't see it's, a, it's an X. That's the formula. Codebook is using to do the calculation. Okay. What does LT represent? So you're going to write some more notes down. Sorry, can you just go back for one more second? LT stands for. LT represents length from table D3. P represents percentage drop. DCF represents distance for action factor. table, if you go up in the, on that page, you will find a distance correction factor table. Highlight the heading of that table. I'm going to randomly choose one person, <coughs> and I want my rock stars to at least try it. Okay? Then later on, we'll do it together. Where is distance correction factor? Right here, guys. If you go a little bit up on the chart, right here. Distance for action factor. I'll make it bigger on the screen so you guys can see it. If, say that again. Oh, you were writing the formula down here? Right here. Okay. All right, so we're going to go back to the material. Section 8 classroom work. I'm going to ask you guys to try doing, let's do an easy one first before we do hard work. There you go, question 16 in the classwork assignment. I'll give you guys five minutes, try it. Sorry, section 8 classwork? Yep, okay. question 16 here. Sixteen. Sixteen. The one I like it. 